Hello and welcome back to the Scarlet Cascadel. We're here in this small village, stealing anything and everything we can find that seems of value before meeting our former. I was gonna say our friend, certainly our former uh, colleague at the inn. And what is this place? This is the lamp lighters. Can't get into the lamp lighters. Why am I making King and all these places I need keys for? I don't know. Oh, there's another thing worth noting is there's a map in the middle. As well as, you know, ghosts and nonsense. Picks, shovels, pans, find glory and riches in the heart of Witchwood. Don't need leave your little ones crying for Papa. Make them smile because you have quicksand insurance. Inquire within. Quicksand insurance seems just like what I need. I already died to it once. I'd like to make sure that if I die to it again, then I get properly paid. Dear Mr. D, as per our agreement, I expect 50 gold weekly. You are now two days late. If you don't honor our arrangement by tomorrow, I will be forced to send those incriminating letters to your old partners in the city. I trust you will be more prompt in the future. A man of my stature is unaccustomed to waiting on someone at your station. S.L. Esquire. Fairy fly ointment. Single dose, 10 coppers. Bargain bottle, 30 coppers. Topical only. Do not ingest. Sorry. Nope. Hello. <coughs> Oops. <laughs> Do not ingest, so immediately uh, <laughs> ingest it. Well, a belt and a couple of coughs later, and I seem to be not too much the worse for wear. Oh, this is a back door. Another cellar. This one I can get in. Oh, this is where the spiders are kept there, is it? Hey, perhaps I will need those broad heads after all. There's one burnt. I don't know, they're actually black. I can, I can't even see them. I can just barely see them then wobbling up there. One's just good. Oh, there's another one at least. Dang it. Is this any enemy and thief that uh, I don't like? I can't stand it's spiders. Ah, oh, there you are, I see you. In there, rats are alright. Uh, oh, hello. I actually got someone. And I got his money. Too bad. Well, there's a vent. I can explore that in a minute. Okay, 
stuck on this corpse. It's, uh... Where does this take me? Something's wrong with your machinery, I think. Let's go up to another floor. Alright, let's check upstairs first. <laughs> Psychic shop key. My dearest Mabel, I'm so infuriated. I can't believe the goal of that man. Brother Grimwald has made it no secret that he thinks I'm an unholy heathen. He actually called me a pagan once and implied that I worship the trickster. His latest inanity is that he thinks I'm a necromancer and wants to raise the dead. I wouldn't pay any heed to such a close-minded zealot, but lately he has taken to camping outside my door and keeping customers from entering. If I can't find some way to make him leave, I'll go out of business. Why did I ever open a shop next door to a Hammerite chapel? Oh, door doesn't open. Is that the letter to Mabel? This is Mabel's house, maybe, and is it from the potion shop? The potion shop owner was definitely a uh, trickster worshipper. So this is the psychic shop, which we now have a key for. Somewhere here. Oh, the key is used up. Okay. No. Oh, we still have another uh, place to explore down here. There's a vent. Let's reach the spiders are escaping and uh, throw it. I hope no more. Uh, hope no more are camping out in there. But I shall have to see where it leads. Looks like it's made of wood. Oh. What head hours? It's cells. Cells of some kind, okay. Where's the way out? <sighs> this is a surprisingly large and complex village. Psychic shop, okay. Just a passerby, not somebody with a sword. Still, can't be too careful. Townie. There's a guard. Oh, that's where I came into town. Okay. The guard on the bridge. So that's the inn. So we've still got a few more places to explore here before we uh, worry about that. Let's see what you put in your display case here, huh? A few things of value. Seems I can't close it again. No matter. It's like, uh, why has he got so many chairs? It's not really a cafe, is he? And I can't open that, and I can't pick up these masks. Unfortunate. Oh, what's, what's through here? He has a loft as well. <laughs> More 
valuables stashed under the bed. A few apples. Well, no healing from those. Still the healing fruit, but I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Until I actually need it. Not at all. Hello. Wait a second. You found a secret. Oh, there it is. That was a very strange noise. Not the usual found secret noise. Too modern for my for Garrett's taste, really. <laughs> I don't understand it. No one's buying my latest work. Wendelin from the Salty Strumpet said it might be too abstract. What does that even mean? The proprietor at the hotel commissioned copies of the family portraits. I don't know what he plans to do with the originals, so they must be worth a lot of money. They were painted by Beauregard, that amateur. It took me no time at all to copy originals. I even added my own distinctive style at no extra charge. I have them on display in the gallery now and I can't wait for the proprietor to see them. I know he's going to love them, he's always liked my work. He even called it avant-garde once. I don't really know what that means, but it sounds sophisticated. Maybe if he likes it, maybe if he, maybe if he likes these, he'll become something of a patron. I might even become famous and have a studio in the city. Maybe the city folk are um, more in tune with your style there, yes. Uh, back at the front door, this is where I was kind of wandering around. Alright, getting near the end of the town, except for the pub, as it were. Noise. Wow, that isn't it? That, that inn is enormous. Yeah. Who's more places is this? I feel like I've been in here. Oh, that's just the act gallery again. So, who am I hearing? Snoring so loudly. Aha, I see. <laughs> Still no sign of Wen's associate. If I can spot her mysterious friend coming into town, Lash will waive this month's security fee. I'm desperate, but if this stranger is who I think he is, I won't report it. The village has been under the thumb of Lash and his thugs for too long, and someone who can undermine his power would be most welcome. Well, if you stayed awake, you might have spotted me coming here. Spring well. Give an offering to the well sprite and receive a boon. God, that guard can see me. <laughs> an offering to the well sprite, huh? What if I offer myself? Does anyone draw anyone throw any money in? Who 
just a weird voice. I mean, what would I offer? A sack of... A sack of gear? See? Doesn't seem like they wanted that. Playing cards. I don't think I can quite uh, get in there. Garvin, I've heard whispers that we may soon have a visitor to our little burg. None other than Garrett himself. Keep a sharp eye out in your wits about you. Lash. Or is this Lash's house, maybe? It's locked up tight. Oh, hello. Come back here into a darker corner with me. <coughs> Ouch. Darker corner where I have some room to maneuver. Use for that healing fruit now. Actually, probably just another healing potion. <laughs> Taking that much damage already. S Lash's Squire. Right, so this isn't Lash's house, this is somebody else's place that I can't get into. Let's make a note house opposite Lash's. Lots of places that are locked that I can't get in. See if I can take care of Lash himself, huh? Oh, Lash's house is locked. All oh, right, so the cellar I saw was Lash's. Cellar so northwest of Lash's place. Okay. Well, I'm guessing I will have do something about him for the mission then. Unless he keeps one of his doors less locked. Alright, well, here's the cheesemongers again, so I've been right round the inner part of the village. Meet Wendelin at the tavern, find out what she knows, don't harm her. Right, well, let's make a hard save. Into the salty strumpet. Search the place from bottom to top. Oh, that's the view into the mines. Okay, it doesn't look out into the street, but just down into the uh, basement here. That's a little. Oh, someone there. Office. Staff, please take note of supplies needed for the week and check with other town vendors to see if we can go in together. The miller has offered to pick them up as he's already making red regular runs into Fog Hollow. Oh, that office door won't open. I guess we are going this way. Or not. <laughs> I think I want to avoid knocking out everyone in there. In the tavern for now. Just because, hang on. Let's just get this unlocked as well so it opens and shuts without hassle. Uh, if we can avoid knocking out everyone in the salty strumpet, it means I avoid the risk of accidentally knocking out wind. 
who is the one who wanted to see us after all, so why don't we just wander in, all this brass, and see what's up. Murder and Mayhem at the Perrin Books. The latest issue of Intrigue in Old Ale has arrived. Another shocking tale of greed, deceit, scandal, and chicanery awaits your reading pleasure. Get your copy while supplies last, only at Deparan Books. Relinquish your cares at the Blackwell. Are you weary from travel? Are you tired of your fine leather shoes being worn on country cobbles? Have you had enough of the local colour? The Blackwell is an elegant country retreat equipped to meet the needs of the discerning traveller. Come relieve your weariness in the lap of luxury. Sojourn at the Blackwell. <laughs> Missing. Have you seen Marcus? He was last seen on the mill path in early first bloom. He is a swarthy fellow of short, uh, very short stature, wearing a greasy brown leather jerkin and black leggings with a rip in the left knee. Always wears a green felt hat with a wide brim and a cock's feather in the band, and carries a cheap green and gold horn. If you have seen him, or have any news of his whereabouts, contact Dougal of the town guard. <laughs> You took your sweet time getting here, Taffer. Hey, Wend. Running the town yet? Mm. It's good to see you, Garrett. I hear Basso's making quite a name for himself as a safecracker out in the city. Too bad about mm. Patty, though. Yeah, I should tell you about that later. Hey, listen. I don't think we should talk here. I have a room for you upstairs. Why don't you go drop off your gear and meet me in my office? It's downstairs in the basement. All right. Mm -hmm. Room three. I didn't realize she actually ran the place, I thought I was just meeting her here, so it's a good thing I wasn't knocking out all her stuff. Which is room three. What's the balcony? Three. Wait, I don't have the key, I can't lock it again. Alright, where's my sack of gear? Let's drop it off. And uh, put your stuff in your room, then meet Wendelin in her basement office. Let's see what's up. <clears throat> I can rob this place later. Just the way to the office. So it is. probably want to know about the item you came all this way for. You already know about the long-lost Ouroboros, since you already acquired one of them, the Serpentile Twerk. Yeah, I found it laying around in the old quarter. This is the one they call the Scarlet Cascabel, said to be the most valuable. But you've got competition. A gentleman thief who calls himself Nightingale was in here bragging about going after it. Nightingale, huh? That guy. Well, after plying him with some wine, he showed me a chunk of stone tablet that appears to be genuine. I contacted you because this job requires a master thief. Hmm, interesting. Up the canyon, there's a hotel called the Blackwell. It's becoming popular with nobles trying to escape city life. It was once the ancestral home of the Blackwell family, but stood vacant for generations until the current owner, also a Blackwell, restored it and turned it into a hotel. That's where the Cascabel is supposed to be. There's a footpath from town that leads to the hotel entrance. You might be a little out of place there, so maybe you shouldn't waltz right through the front door. I'll keep that in mind. My cut of this job is I need a favor from you. There's a local moneylender named Lash who is trying to muscle in on my business. I need some information on him that I can use to get him off my back. There must be something. No one moves to this town unless they have something to hide. If you can find something, bring it here to my office. Here. I managed to swipe this key to his cellar. You don't ask for much, do you? <laughs> All right. I'll see what kind of dirty little secrets our friend is keeping. Hey, you have a private door to your office, okay. Your objectives. Find some dirt on Lash and leave it in Wendelin's office. A map of the hotel would be useful. See if you can find one. Well, there's one in the mill. You'll need some gear for your trip to the hotel. Steal 1500 and loot. Optional. Legend- Wait, I've 
throw the whole sack of gear. Do I need more gear? Optional. Legend has it the trio of oh, got that. When your other objectives are complete, get some gear at the weapon shop on your way out of town. Weapon shop. I don't remember seeing a weapon shop. Post notices for staff. Swap a new barrel of Witchwood Ale. Order more steaks from the butcher. Note. Rem remember to ask the miller if there's another way into the mill. I need that copy of the hotel map. Lash has brought more men into town. The village guard are brave enough, but they aren't prepared to handle these kind of pros. Even my own men aren't enough, though Kibbers does have that spider. Who ever heard of a pet spider? Still, extra security for me. I really must do something about Lash. He's not just trying to muscle in on me, he wants the whole town. I think it's time I brought in Garrett. He's my best chance of getting Lash off my back. I have just the thing to pique his interest. Nice of that fop to get drunk and brag about the artifact. 11th Midtember. Just got a shipment of spice. My supplier is staying at the Blackwell, as usual. I've already moved half the product. Maybe I should double my order before he leaves town. I expected Garrett by now. I sent that letter weeks ago, but I guess he'll show up in his own good time. I just hope it's soon enough. Well, I'm here now. Wait, what was... Where's... oh. Didn't even see it. I was trying to open this thing that wasn't highlighting, and it turns out there's a switch right below. So now, uh huh. Right, we've been on the other side of this door. So I'm I'm sorry, Wen, for knocking out your men down here, but uh... hello. It's a spice smuggling racket. Okay. And two flash bombs. Probably nice. What's this? Old jumper switch. Wend. I found this in some rubble and think it's an old power switch left by, behind by the miners. From what I've heard, they rigged the power to explosives down there. Might come in handy if we ever want to access this to if we ever want access to the South Mines. And think of the possibilities if those tunnels come up come up near the old mill road. Kivers. Well, you know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking those tunnels might actually hide a back way into the mill. Which could be exactly what we need. Alright. So we can blow up the uh, stuff there if we need to. Alright, Lash's basement. Lash's basement. Well, let's go out through this basement. So Lash's basement on the northwestern side. I guess this is Lash's house. It's a big one. Oh, no, that's that's blah blah. Witherington, Bledsoe, and Coal. Where was Lash's basement then? <laughs> up here, I think. Alright, left this open. This is Lash's basement. We'll have to see what secrets he has. Oh, I'm not sure I'm getting out there. Oh, that wasn't my footsteps, okay. It's alright, man. Hello. Almost missed you. Yeah, loaf of bread. Well, I don't think they're coming down here. Oh, that okay, that was me. There's a tile floor in the middle. Okay. No. Don't stand in the middle of the room, Garrett. Oh, nom nom nom. doors into this tiny little pantry. Okay. I don't know why, but uh, I don't need to bother worry myself about it. Mm. 
I don't break any secrets in the fireplace. Where is this guy I'm hearing? That's the front door. Hello? There's indeed the front door, okay. Maybe that's Lash himself. Deposit box eight. That tub and wenches are thorn in my side. She doesn't scare easy, and what's worse, she has some muscle of her own. Seems she was pretty well connected in the city. I have to be careful about how I proceed. I don't want my past to catch up to me. They finally installed the new fisherman safety deposit boxes I requested at Witherington, Bledsoe and Cold. I needed a safe place to store the ledger, and any half decent boxman could crack the old ones in a tick. Looks like I'm on the right track. House. I guess this is his office. Wait, he's money weather, right? Where's that key? Key. Not not safety deposit box. House key. Right, yeah, okay, that's his this is his office door. So upstairs. Mr. Lash. Let's see what you have on that table over there in just a minute. Nothing much. All right, well, I will leave you in here. Unsuspecting. Let's go to the safety deposit box. Which was. Nope, that's the cheesemakers. This is the hammerite. I haven't been in here. Well, let's go in here then. Tis so infuriating, I can scarce believe the gall of that woman. She hath made it no secret that she believeth me a religious fanatic. Very verily she did call me a close minded zealot zealot once and has had the temerity to imply that the Builder was not the god of all men. What prompted her to open a fortune teller's shop next to our little chapel? The new novice hath arrived. He be a strange lad who doth wear his pride like a mantle, and is ill-equipped to follow the path of the Builder. In evidence thereof, he hath taken a room at the tavern, that den of thieves and wanton revelry. I am convinced the innkeeper purveyeth more than spirits. Well, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. I wonder what's in the arms box. Cheese. Oh, give me hit points. Tiny bit of money and a note. 
Dear Brother Grimwald, your presence is required tomorrow to discuss a certain business arrangement of which you are in outstanding arrears. I will send my personal security guard as your escort to ensure you do not forget our appointment. Sincerely, S slash Esquire. Well, Mr. Lash, you should know better than to try to shake down the entire town where you live. It's not going to win you any friends. Uh, are you alright, man? Halt! Thou art my prisoner! Prisoner? That mistake shall cost thee thy life! Hey, don't, don't get me stuck in here. I was merely breaking in and stealing my goods from you, you know, they're rightfully mine. Well, I don't need to stay in shadows forever, just long enough to get you out of the way. Well, I guess that worked. Well, I, guess, I figure you'll be back sooner or later. Alright, well, nothing... Nothing in here. Let's ring your doorbell, shall we? I can't. Alright, where are Blutherington... Whatever the names are. Been in there. Okay, they must be here. Near here, because this is the way I came in. Yes, Witherington, Bledsoe and Cole. Alright, safety deposit box number eight. I'm coming for you. Perfect. Flash's ledger. No, I can't read it. How do I know it's got dirty info? I mean, it's got all these accounts, so it'll have, have something of value. Right, leave it in Wendelin's office. And there's the uh, hammeric novice at the inn, who's apparently uh, not all that he seems. <laughs> Can't put out that candle. Any more booze for me? No? Stingy. That's just oh, someone dropped some dropped a coin in the loo. Must have fallen out of their pockets when they pulled their pants down. Okay, well let's drop off this ledger while I'm here. <coughs> Feels to me more basement. Okay, I guess there must be a connection. There must be a way into the secret tunnels from here because it's uh, mm, tasty bread. I mean, there's Wonderland's operation, so. Uh, If there's no secret way into the tunnels, wait, was, the was that a secret way into the tunnels? There, I can't remember. It's too long ago. It was like five minutes ago. Right, where's the ledger? So count. Leave it in Wendelin's office. I mean, it's in her office. Let's just remind, jog my memory as to where that goes. Oh yeah, so that's that's the vent. Yes, and that does connect to the tunnels. Okay. There it is here. All 
Right, before we leave, actually I might leave through those tunnels. Did those tunnels connect to the... No, it was Lash's men had wired that bridge. Where's the... Upstairs, upstairs. Mm -hmm. Nope, no, I'm sorry, that's not what I was trying to go. Up here. <coughs> shouldn't leave without my stuff, right? But I can't I can't pick it up anymore. Why is that not open? That's weird. The door doesn't open at all. It's like opens a crack and stops. stuff the late owner stored up here. At least block it off. It gives me the creeps. Glad I never knew the guy. How do I get in there then? That is the eastern the eastern side of the attic. Maybe there's a window that would be openable. Dear Janelle, I've arrived at a little village outside Witchwood Forest. The scenery has been breathtaking, but the trek through the forest was unsettling. Such an eerie and an unnerving place. I was relieved to finally see the lights of the village through the gloom of the trees. I found a room at a local tavern and may remain here a few days before continuing my journey. I hope this letter finds you well. Flannin. Oh, they're asleep. Okay. To see if Flannin has any uh, angles. Some. <laughs> no, don't mind me. All right, so there's this one room. This is a bad idea, so I'm gonna probably reload, but I'm gonna just try breaking this door. Yeah. Still doesn't open anymore. Alright. Then that is also the east side of the inn. Well let's go outside. Is there a balcony up here? There's a balcony up here. There's a way into the attic. Or into that guy's room. That's a noisy clock. Uh, hard to say. What a rug arrow. Get me up on the roof. Answer is you will get me up there, but I can't stand up there. It's too slippery. All right. Where was the other balcony? Hmm. Nice wooden beam sticking out. Again, I can get up on the beam, I expect, but not on the roof above it, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, I can 
get up here, Ruby. <laughs> Bad idea. We'll get stuck. <laughs> yeah, well, I can fall off. Relative safety. All right, let's let's go outside and look around the east side. See if there's a any way to access the place. Hey, you put the stuff in your office. Uh, none of you guys heard that, right? Good, good. Eastern side. Well, those beams stick out near the roof, which is interesting. There's the attic, I guess I'm after. <laughs> There's a window there, but uh, I don't know that I can... I can get a rope in, okay. See if we can see anything at that window. Looks too small to climb in. Yeah, it doesn't even open. Alright. Uh, perhaps it wasn't the best idea to stick a, a rope so high. Because I don't know how I'm going to get it down now. Without breaking my legs. <coughs> oh, I break my legs. Alright, I break my legs. <laughs> Ouch. And there's the other one we saw. Well, surely there's a way up there. Maybe I just have to smash those uh, crates that were there. It seems unlikely, but possible. Where's the front door again? Very fancy windows in this end, you know? It's a very fancy window indeed. Where's the stairs? Uh, no, this wasn't the attic. Not the attic at all. Oh, what's the attic up here? I'm sure I can't break these. Can I even on it, can I? What, this one? Can I break this one? Can't squeeze past there. And can't squeeze past on that side. Okay. Well, maybe there's another ladder. Oh, sorry about that, ma'am. I think nobody heard me bashing on those things, so I'll always bothered by it. Just go into every room and look for any sign of other trap doors. It's probably a fool's errand. I'm sure there's some way through, but. Uh, Hello. Trap door is safe, but it doesn't look like they're gonna open. Don't hurt me. Please help, don't hurt help, me. Help! Thief! <sighs> it's a rope arrow. I wasn't threatening you. <sighs> what is it in there anyway? Can I, can I see anything interesting <laughs> through the gap? Can I get through that gap? No, it's too small. Crates. More crates. Alright. Well. Never mind. Is this a secret there? <clears throat> I guess it's not one I'm going to discover. What else have we got to do? Find some dirt on lash. Leave it in the window. Why didn't that tick off? <coughs> Let's go back to the Winterland's office and find out. Try picking the thing up and ticking it off again. So that really should have uh, been marked as complete. Oh, okay. I guess I put it on the other book, which didn't trigger. 
A map of the hotel would be useful, see if you can find one, so we need to get back in the mill. Steal 1500 in loot. Where are we at on loot? We should be near, surely. Oh, wow. 1079, still got 500 to get. But it feels like I've robbed the entire town. Uh, let's go back to the tunnels. No, let's not go back to the tunnels. What I want to find is where those explosives were, right? It wasn't tunnels, it was at some bridge or other. Not this bridge. Yeah, it was not that bridge. Oh, it's down there. Which means somebody's cellar up this way. Don't see anything now. I think. Not the artist, because we came there quite late. Let's try to avoid spooking these guys. Now he saw me. That's right, I bet he has no idea where I've gone. I have no idea where I've gone, I'm lost again. It's in this tiny little village. Ah, oh, that's the potion shop in there. I'm pretty sure it wasn't the potion shop. It's the Lashes man, right? And there's the house opposite Lashes I haven't been into either. Was it the Butchers? Was the Butcher in? Yeah. Went out here. It's a barrack friend. Hello. Someone's been uh, feeding gold to pigs, casting pearls before swine in the barracks. Oh. Someone's been growing carrots that I didn't even notice. Thank you. So this is the Miller's house. The Miller disconnects with uh, what's the name's tunnels, right? Yes. It is not. It's not the place I want to be, right? No, oh, now I'm going around in circles. Where is the place I want to be? The place I want to be was... Some basement passage. Let's go here, it'll... Get us back on the main streets again. <laughs> this is Lash's basement. Oh, it wasn't that. That's Lashes house, right? House opposite Lashes, which is this one, was locked and we couldn't pick it. Can I stick a rope out up there? Probably not, right? Door. Hello, is that what's that on the wall up there? There's a key. My arms are not long enough to reach it. There must be another way into this house. Get the key. So that one can get the key from the inside.
but I can't see any way in. Anyway, that's still on my map, so uh, we've been into Lasher's Cellar, so I can cross that off. We've been to Deposit Box 8. We haven't been in the Lamplighter's place yet either. So where's the other cellar that we saw? It was on the edge of town somewhere. Burying people in a garden. Oh, hello. City gates are locked. Or village gates. Here, maybe this is the one. So this is the one which had the spiders in it. Is this the one that connects to the, uh, the tunnels I was after? No, that's some cells, I think. Yeah, that I have not been to. And uh, nothing else here connected. I have to do <laughs> That's the potion maker shop. Okay. So the cells would be below... Below here. Right. How do we get in? Which is, I guess, just connect near the clock. Not the clock. How do we get in here? Key. Key maker. I mean, I guess if he's a locksmith, then it makes sense that they've got good locks. Can't get in your basement. Where were those tunnels? <gasps> oh, look. <laughs> Leaving uh, stuff on your window ledge. Alright, well, I'll. Tunnels first, worry about that later. Let's just check the here again, because I don't think it connected, but I don't know for sure. Can't remember. So I might as well check it. Is there a lever on this side? No, there is. Connects up to the inn, right? Certainly the inn basement there. Yeah, that's the inn basement. Oh, it was here. Okay. Switch. All right, because we need to blow up that stuff, it's wired. I don't have any fire arrows, so turning on the power is the only way to do it. Oh, hello. Generator. Now I can do it. Boom. I kind of shorted out the old generator as well. Alright, now we should be able to get access to the mines and hopefully the mill. But uh, I think it's a very good place to end the episode. So thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you here for the next episode.